ready for another lesson. What'd you guys watch this week? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we have a segment. Yeah, I was about, about to say, that. if only we had a segment <laughs> about what we watched. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Back Row Banter, your favorite casual movie talk podcast. Man, that song gets me so hyped up. It's There's great. a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah. It's great, man. Thanks, I, man. I brought it back this week. I thought we went a, we went a week without it, and then it was it was time for it to it come due back. Time. Yeah, we got a lot of good feedback. Here's, here's my hesitation with it, though. We already have our own intro song. We do, and then we have another one. And I don't know. Well, I kind of like that. It's just dumb, though. That like yeah, that yeah. like it's it, and it, it is it's like it's like a stock intro. Song. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's yeah. It, anyone who has a similar setup to this, like this exact mixer, automatically has that song too. So that I just I, I kind of like that. It is just this stock. generic. Yeah, piece right. of like it's preloaded. <laughs> right. Yeah. What's up, everybody? I'm your host Adam Schwartz. On today's episode, episode. we have some some uh, news that Warner Bros is all over. Get two news stories in gar- regarding Warner Bros. Uh, no trailer talk this week. Our new streaming HBO Max and Disney Plus are popping off this week. Ooh. Uh, and then we'll get to the what we're watching because we do have a segment called What We're Watching, Tyler. Just you know, we do. What have you been watching? <laughs> uh, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> and our main review for this episode, episode thirty-four, guys. Uh, it's Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. 30, 33 in the can, thirty-four to come. How do how do you guys feel? I was thinking about today. I was like, 34 is a lot. Man. We're rolling, man. We're a th- over yeah, a third I, of the way to 100. Yeah, uh, when, yeah. We, when we started this, I was, I, I don't know, I just, I was like, I'm in, and right. I think we'll have some fun, and I'm I'm really, really glad that we've stuck with it. Oh, hell yeah. And Because I think if, like, I, maybe this thing does pop off, right? That'd be so cool to say that we stuck with it, and we have the consistency to back right. it up. And, and even just to be able to go back and kind of backtrack and look at things. So, for example, it's going to be super cool once you hit milestones of like 100 or sure. just yeah. 199, 200. But who knows what you can go to, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think that'll be cool. You can kind of sit back and like reflect on those things. I, I mean, be dope. Uh, yeah. we hit the six month milestone. We started. Yeah, that was cool too. Yeah, I texted you guys. Uh, our first episode went up July 6th, I believe it was. Yep. Of 2020. So it's going to be, I think we're over six months. Are ago. we the only good thing to come out of 2020? Uh, <laughs> just might be. Possibly. We're definitely better than Tanette. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial take off the top. We can't yeah. escape it. We can't escape it. But joining me today, of course, as usual, is the Nizza, Nathaniel Gingrich. That's me. What's up, folks? The man with a plan. I, I guess no the plan. <laughs> I mean, I don't I mean that's technically why he took the week off. That's true. We are planning. The man with no plans. <laughs> yeah, we are strategizing. It's a blue sky session here, folks. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and also joining me today is the work. Well, Trabajo. Tyler Vidalis, my stream monkey. Should we tell the, the stories of our? I feel of, like our, sh- of our names. We could. Well, before we, if we're going to go around to do that. We should give the last name to Mr. Water Coolers, Blake Holder. Yeah. Just make sure everybody knows he's here too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm here alive and well, guys. <laughs> alive and very well. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I mean mentally and physically I'm here. Sometimes people are physically at a location, you know, and, and, and mentally not there. Do you do you want to make that our little intro part here? Is giving our, our gamer tags? Uh sure, why not? You go first, man. But is everybody's name their gamer tag? No, it's not. Well, El Trabajo is your gamer tag. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he switched it. Yeah, he switched yeah, it. Yeah, he switched week it last so. week. He Dude. said Nizza water coolers and you actually kind of talked about your origin story of yours last week yeah but we'll just you talk well anyways. you didn't just talk about oh yeah that's water maybe that's that, yeah maybe that's what jogged my memory because i think i was listening Sorry. back to the episode and i was like oh yeah blake was talking about how he was originally frosty nipples and then yeah. he came from yeah. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I was by the way leah hates the word nipples <laughs> <laughs> well i didn't spell shout it out. Out. Shout out, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be like you you're disgusting yeah uh, i'm sorry babe um, but yeah, I, I know she doesn't like that word and you, I knew you said it this week and I, we were listening to part of the podcast and you to, said it and I she need was to like, get a, 
I need to get a beep effect for the for the <laughs> mic, for the mixer. That's yeah, my right, favorite right. soundboard it's effect on mine. Oh, okay, it's a great our, one. Well, we gotta we gotta get going here if we're gonna do these. Sorry, these yeah, little, we can do them. Little, we can do them quick. Sure. This a uh yeah well mine came from um a couple different sources I guess uh, Nizza was a was a kind of a shortening of my name when I lived in England as like a joke. There's a, a common one is that like you'll you'll shorten something to a an Ezza. So mine was it was actually Neza, like Charlotte becomes Sheza, and then like Jeremy becomes Jezza. So hmm. super long names like that sometimes get shortened to that. So mine one of my nicknames over there was Neza, and then when I came back, um, I was just laughing about being part of the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> and so, <laughs> like RZA before me, I put I just put NZA as mm-hmm. it. And, uh, yeah, that's where it became, the NZA. So. There yeah. you go. Nope. What were some of the other nicknames they had over there? Uh, I had Neb uh, or Nebby because um, that that's like a weird story about my family. The name is, in general, my name's Nathaniel. My brother's name is Noah. And my parents joke if there was like a third child. The other N Bible name is Nebuchadnezzar. And so I, was, I, I told my friends that. And so they started they calling me. Yeah. yeah, I started calling me Neb. That's short for Nebuchadnezzar or Nebby. That's really good. Um, That's funny. And then Naf and Nafi was a, was a lot of the ones that I've had before, too, as well. Hmm. Interesting. Where, the, where did those come from? Uh, just na- shortening of okay. Nathaniel, sure, yeah. Because sure. um, I, I, I don't know if that's on pod. I hate Nathan's. And I hate, and Ugh. I generally dislike Nate. I did learn I, that about you. I, I yell at people you. when they call him Nathan. Yeah. There's people that I've like been in store with and like, they'll be like, hey, where's Nathan? I'm like, who the fuck are you talking <laughs> for sure, about? For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, your boy, Nathan. I'm like, Nathaniel, you fucking dick. Call him <laughs> yeah. by his name. Yeah, that, that caught me off guard a few times as well. But just, it's almost like when you meet somebody and it, and it almost sucks with human nature. Like, you almost don't take it for face value. Of like, hi, my name's Nathaniel. And yeah. Like, oh, okay, well, I'll just call him Nate. Dude, time. there you know? was a guy. That's I'm the, sure I did that. That's, and I was like, okay, I'm never That's like one of those again. things. Like, I talked to some guy, and his name was like, uh, fucking William or something like that. Right. And uh, I was like, cool, Bill. He was like, I'm, Please don't he's like, that. my name's yeah. William. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit. I didn't even like think of that. Yeah. Ever since I had that like encounter, I was like, for sure. People have fucking names. Yeah. So like, call I try my hardest not call to call by. people like bro or yeah. like buddy mm-hmm. in, in, boss. In, yeah. Or like, <laughs> dude, I, there's people out there. And if you're listening, stop it. That call people like boss or chief. Mm-hmm. Fucking knock it off! <laughs> <laughs> like the, no. Yikes. Tyler, Sir, we're, but anyways, we're yeah, that's, Tyler, that's, where's Ultra Bajo? That's man? where Nizza came from. Where, where is the origin story of um, Ultra Bajo? I'll kind of, I'll try and be as quick as possible because it goes back. But anyways, um, I was a, uh, I was the coon. And this is right when... I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> what yeah. was that? The coon. <laughs> the coon. Okay. And That's what I thought you said. I yeah. <laughs> so it was because... I was a really big fan of South Park back in the day. And it was when my super friends came out. And uh-huh. uh, Cartman was literally a raccoon. Yeah. So that's and so like his name was the coon. South right. Park reference. So I'm like, holy shit, that's fucking hilarious. And he's like this fat little raccoon that runs uh-huh. around. He's got claws and shit. I fucking died. And so it was that for a while, and then it got banned because people were like, you're racist. And I'm like, I'm really not. Like, I promise. <laughs> right, 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 right. I just really <laughs> like South Park. Um, yeah. So then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, all right, well, fuck. I got to change before I get on. So then it's like I was I, I wore DC shoes. Mm-hmm. And all I did back in the day was snipe. So I was like DC sniper. And then that became a thing. And like, I don't know if you guys know the story about the DC sniper, but that was like a really <laughs> bad. <laughs> I just got bad luck with names. Though. Yeah, dude. So I was like, <laughs> fuck, people are going to think I'm an asshole. So the Tabajo studio killer. <laughs> um, so then that got banned. And then they were like, you're not allowed to play until No the drunk changed. lord, El Trabajo, was banned from... <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like, fuck, dude. So then at this point in my life, I had like quite literally five jobs. Uh-huh. Um, I was a valet. I was doing firefighting. I was uh-huh. going to paramedic school. Uh, and I worked for Bo's. Okay. Um, and then I think there was something else I was doing in there. Um, but I literally had like no time. Mm-hmm. I was always constantly doing something. If I wasn't doing something, I was probably sleeping. Mm-hmm. 
And so, like, Justin and, like, Ryan and all those guys were like, dude, like, you just you just work. And mm-hmm. they're like, you're good at video games. And you kind of, you know, like, you do work. And then I was like, yeah, but I don't want to just be called, like, fucking work. Mm-hmm. That's fucking stupid. So then, like, I'm Spanish. So then we were like, what's work in Spanish? And we're like, Chabajo. And oh, I was like, that I sounds fucking that. cool. Yeah. I just learned something. So then L is, E-L is, is like is the, the right, yeah. so yeah, so then El Trabajo 87, the work 87. 87 is like my oldest like football number that I've ever had, so. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's like my that's favorite number. Tw- yeah, I, you know what, I'll get to mine, I guess. Yeah, because I was like, that's that. I knew it wasn't the year you were born. No. Because you were born with probably 90. 90. Yeah, my, my brother was yeah. born 90. So yeah, that's that's kind of, that's where El Trabajo came from. There were a couple more in between there. I think there was like an ace at one point. Okay. Um I also wanted to be an ace at one point. But yeah, like I, I only did sniping and mm-hmm. but DC sniper obviously got shut down. <laughs> like my right motto so. I'm pretty sure my motto on like my Xbox account is still what it was when I first like made my account. Which, uh, it is. What is yes, it? Yes, can uh, confirm. It's uh I get head when I snipe. <laughs> I honestly think that's what it's like. <laughs> it is. Every time I click I, your name, I'm I, sure. <laughs> I've definitely <laughs> That's funny. I've definitely or sorry, maybe that should be more. <laughs> no, it's a good joke. You all laughed. <laughs> Where's the drum set one? That, that's, yeah, I think, that one, I think that one's most appropriate. All right, Mr. Water Coolers, where's that coming from? I because um, I you said you said the other gamer tags. We didn't say where Mr. Water Coolers. Yeah, dude. Because so it's also your Instagram. Yeah, so that's actually my Instagram, my Xbox name, my PSN name, my Snapchat as well, and that actually came from. So um, growing up, obviously, I was heavily influenced from hip hop. Right, I'm a black African American male. Um and Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper growing up. Okay, and he had a and I can't. Bro, even think I was of thinking about I was thinking about the the Wheezy era the other day and just how like Dude, how insane. forgotten that is nowadays. Oh, for like, sure. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And that's like when I first started getting into like music. That's yeah. like middle school me, you like know? the Carter Three. Like, yeah, 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 bro, for sure, man. <laughs> and um, I, I can't think of what song it is, but I think it's on a song. Uh, I think it might be on like Birdman's album or something. Whoever Lil Wayne is signed to, but unless he has a line in there and he says. Uh, Mr. Water Coolers, and I was like, wow, that's super dope, and I've just ran with it since then, and that song came out probably maybe, like, when I was in eighth grade, freshman year of high school. That's hysterical. Yeah, and I've ran with it, and, like, every once in a while, you'll meet somebody who's, like, a super big Wayne fan. It's like, dude, I know what that's from, (laughs) you know, then everybody (laughs) else has no idea. That's so funny. Yeah. But that's that's definitely how that happened, and I've I've been running 10 years strong with that. There you go. What about you, my dog? Yeah, Aish is... I don't know. Aisha, I was trying to... The place with the helpful hardware, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's that. Um, I came up with the gamer tag while I was competing semi-professionally in Halo 5. Semi-pro. I got, yeah, I you know, amateur, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I needed a new gamer tag because I didn't like the one I had. What uh, was it? What was it? Fuck, man. Uh, <laughs> Angry Elf. Yeah, Yo, before, yeah, no... <laughs> I've had a long, long list of gamer tags, but the one I started competing with, I think, was uh, it was before it, before I came up with H. It was the Hyper Boy Yoy. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and it was spe- oh man, it was so weird because I it, it had to do with Greek mythology. It's a long, mm-hmm. it's a long story, but obviously couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then I changed it to Thy H, and now it's H twenty four. Um, because eight, 24 is my baseball number. Ace itself okay. comes from, when I was trying to figure this out, I was a freshman in high school, uh, and then our uh, school logins, or like school emails, it was first initial, uh. last name. So one day I was in um, my intro to engineering class, mm-hmm. and uh, I was like spelling out a my child. name, and I was just like, <laughs> A. Schwartz, one, I think it was uh, 9403. Yeah, I think that Extraneous was Extraneous detail. Um, and then I was like, Aish. Because I wanted, I like making something with my name, but like there was, it was hard to make it out of that. And mm. then I also wanted to be Ace, but there was already a professional Halo player called Ace, so I couldn't yeah. do that. That's, I was like, Aish is kind of, Aish is kind of close. Mm. And then, you know, kind of just settled on it. Huh. Been Interesting. Been that way since. There you go. There it is, folks. The well, is 14 the minutes in the podcast. We're going to get into the news here, guys. You know, I like that little segment. That was fun. I always like little, little things like yeah. that. Get to know us a little bit better. Yeah, find out. Well, there you have it. Uh, we'll Warner Bros. Yep. <laughs> Warner Bros. <laughs> and Legendary. Uh, nearing deal to resolve clash over Godzilla versus Kong. Good. 
what's we, so good about we it? We need that movie. I'm 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 happy about <laughs> it, and yeah. because um, this kind of needs to happen. Otherwise, Warner Bros. can't do their plan. Really, yeah. So Legendary and Warner Bros. have been uh, in some heated. I'm sure they're heated talks because yeah. Warner Bros. never told them or gave them a heads up that they were planning on releasing all of their movies straight to HBO Max. Right. Same day as theaters. Um, so there's been some turmoil between the two of them. So the first of these legendary Warner Bros. collaborations is Godzilla vs. Kong, I believe. and Which is Blake's favorite franchise, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, correct? Uh, one, uh, it's got to be one of them. One of them. It's one, one of them. them. Yeah, one of them. I'm, I, I'm love, I, I, dude, dude, I that love them. Oh, I, yeah. there's yeah. a special place in my heart for yeah. all the Godzillas. Yeah, I think that's like a, probably like a kid thing. Like I remember when for they sure. introduced like Baby Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys yeah. ever um did you guys ever play like the video games godzilla yeah. destroy all monsters yes was yeah. my Man. fucking shit <laughs> bro that my gamecube bro. is that the, the fighting game, game? yes, yes. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, the buildings I, and everything yeah bro. i played that game. Yeah. The thing you were, the thing you, weren't you like semi like pro yes uh yeah we <laughs> we all got together with our GameCubes. <laughs> And uh, land partied. We land partied at the <laughs> local game stops and the the EB games <laughs> get wrecked. Yeah, what a great game though, man! It was so much fun, that man. Super. I don't even think they make games like that anymore. Nah. Well, you and you got like Mothra too, and then yeah, you, they like, had um, yeah, you fought God, Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla. two thousand, yeah. 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 yeah, everything, dude. That was such a fun game for sure. Yeah, so uh, in regards to the story, um, the two studios have. Uh, or they're coming to conclusion on on their on their deal to get more profits and stuff to the creators and all that. Um, it's slated to release now May third or May twenty first yeah. uh, in okay. theaters. I was thinking and about on it. HBO Max. Like within the next like two weeks or so, here we're gonna start having like these like a ca- a cavalcade of releases just because we've got like all of 2020s movies that got pushed back and mm-hmm. then also 2021s mm-hmm. they're gonna like have to start figuring something out here because it's getting to like they right. gotta start releasing right. stuff here like, summer, yeah. Right. Yeah. right yeah otherwise they'll just keep pushing it back and pushing it back and we're all just gonna be watching tiger king for the 15th time oh, or something <laughs> right don't remind me of that show <laughs> uh yeah i mean this is also good because they talked in the story how it's going to lead to more Dune talks as well and figure out what they're going to do there because um, Denny really wants it, uh, really wants that theatrical yeah. push. Do we have um, a release date on Dune? October is what they okay. said. October they again? Specific, I'm specific sure that's date. a really big expectation. From I'm going to I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to Joe Biden to try and get us more vaccinated so we can get back in the Stric- movie theaters. Strictly to watch the in theaters. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think Joe Biden is just sitting there and he's like, I'm not going to push these back. and Or I'm not going to push these out. And then he gets Nathaniel's letter. And Nathaniel's letter is yeah. what makes him decide. You know what? Everyone oh, actually is going to get yeah. a vaccine. He's going to see it's produced by Danny Veen. Like, oh, <laughs> shit, we got to get Bro, the <laughs> find that Find that thing from Batman Begins. Just release it in the water and just <laughs> evaporate it to all of us. I'm cool with that. Unreal. <laughs> all right. Um, let's move on to the next Diamond Joe here. Biden. Figure it out, bro. <laughs> Uh, Studio Ghibli's Earwig and the Witch gets theatrical HBO Max release dates. So Studio Ghibli movies um, are all on HBO Max. I'm pretty sure they've got to deal with them there. And so this one's doing the same thing where it's going to come uh, in a theatrical release date in the form of Fandango stuff because it's a Japanese movie. So the Fandango events is handling its release uh, in the States, it's looking like. And then it's also going to be released on HBO Max at the same time on February 5th. Nathaniel, are you aware of this movie? Uh, not as of yet. Is it, is Miyazaki actually involved? I thought this he's is retired. Son. This now. is his son. Okay. So his son's his son's the creative director on this. Um, it's three D animation. Interesting. It's not it's not typical two D uh, anime. And huh. I'm gonna be honest. I looked at the trailer and it does look a little dated as far as the animation. Really? I mean, when you compare it to something like Soul, mm. they're just so far behind the eight ball. I don't mm-hmm. know. Is that is, would that be the right term there? I don't know. They're just so it works. Fu- yeah, they're just so far behind. I mean, Pixar has a twenty-five year head start, whatever you want to call it, and yeah, now they just sure. start doing three yeah. D animation. So, uh, I mean, it looks fine. It looks like an interesting concept. I don't know. I just I think they would have benefited from sticking with and improving the two D animation because it can looks it can still look gorgeous as evidenced by weathering with you and your name mm. two fantastically looking fantastic looking movies. So I don't know. I mean, I get the idea of the switch. I mean, maybe you want to start looking bigger picture because Studio Ghibli does have a international uh, renown with it. 
and maybe you're just trying to get get the word out there a little bit more. But um, very interesting. Either that, or he's just like really trying to push the envelope that he really yeah. doesn't want to be like his dad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, mm. obviously it's some kind of a switch up, yeah. but um, it just I don't know. It was interesting. It's interesting. I'll be interested. It's to watch interesting the choice. Yeah, I, don't know, I was gonna say I would have to check it out as well too. But yeah, I don't know. It'd be cool to find out. Check it out. Yeah, it might be, might be. I just thought it was interesting. Saw that. Uh, saw that headline. So, uh, no trailer talk for the week. So let's get to the new streaming here. Uh, for the week of January tenth to sixteenth. No, 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 the streaming. Um, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, all shit the bed this week. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Wow. Not much coming not much coming oh, out to this. I got three. one for you. Before you jump oh. into to new to streaming and I apologize, I didn't even send the link in there. I just scrolled across it oh, probably sure. right all right before I was gonna log off. But I saw that um that they confirmed um Deadpool three is gonna be part uh, of the Uh you know what? Did I did see, see that? that. You know what? I did see that. I knew it was coming um, from I Disney. I didn't know if it is it in the actual MCU yep, yep. too. They confirmed it and they're still giving it that rated R rating. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they'd be stupid not to. Yeah, sure. I, don't, yeah. I think you lose tons of fans if yeah. you don't. You can't make Deadpool without the R rating. No, no, I, but no. yeah, Disney's smart enough to figure that out. Mm. Yeah, um, but cool. Yeah, I mean that's is that that's the first rated R Disney movie. No, there's been uh, there's been a long history of like studios like that, either like Disney owned or they contributed a ton of money to Got that. It. Like things ended up being R rated. It may be the first one. I, in, they may not even actually put their actual name on there or something yeah, like that, but mm, right um, because of, because of the rating. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. definitely been movies that have been R rated that have been backed by Disney, backed by Disney, sure, or, yeah. or Disney's created sure the uh, contributed to their creation before. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, thanks for the add on there. I definitely I saw that and forgot about it. Yeah, no so doubt. Get a get a little addition on there. Um, but HBO Max has some stuff coming out. They got Book of Shadows, Blair Witch Two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it, Blake? No. Have uh, you? Uh, no. Well, now could be the time. I feel yeah, like I it guess. was. I don't know. I feel like it's probably just going to ruin apparently Blair it's, Witch. Apparently, and Blair Witch isn't even like that great. Hollinger's got a video on it. Apparently, it does some some things that are could be considered interesting, but on the, falls the second one. Yeah, yeah, he does. And uh, is that a sequel to the original? Yes. From like what is it, ninety five? Yeah, well, this like this came out. This came out like ninety eight. No, 2000. it's two thousand. Oh yeah, so okay. yeah, yeah, it came out around the time. It was like hmm. a direct sequel to it. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'd like to see. I, I won't judge you if you don't it. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't either. I don't. Um, they've also got mud, which we talked about two or three weeks ago. Sure. Uh, Never ending man, Hay- Hayao Miyazaki. This is a documentary featuring oh. Miyazaki and just covering his It was recently his, his birthday. Retirement. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy belated. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it would be interesting to check out. I might. What is that on? HBO Max. Okay. Yeah, it's on HBO. Uh, that was made in 2016 and he retired in 2013. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. One I've not seen that I should really get around oh, to. Oh, yeah. You should check that yeah. out. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The Men Who I, Stare. I haven't seen that either. Oh. You should check it out too. That's a Maybe that's we'll do it on Tarantino? pod. Tarantino's yeah. first one. Numero uno. Uh, the Men Who Stare at Goats, 2009. Never checked that out. No, I didn't either, but I do remember that coming out and being a, it's regarded as a good movie, I think. I th- I remember it being mixed, I'm but... F- yeah. Uh, one Flew Over the c- Cuckoo's Nest. Classic. Uh, need to see this. It's but a book, right? Yeah, yeah it's it a is. book as well. I th- that might, we were just talking about... Was that last week we were talking about books? Uh, two or three weeks two, ago. Yeah. No, it was two weeks Some ago when point, we were talking yeah. about Ready Player One. I think I had to read that. For Which we should for one of the classes update on. Before. Are you done with it? No, I haven't listened any more to it actually. Okay. Um, because <laughs> quick update. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we can talk about this later. Um, Poltergeist, the movie. No, the book. <laughs> is that, is that the Sorry, the, 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 I meant I meant I said the movie. I meant the 1980s. Yeah, one. I was yeah, yeah, yeah movie, 82. Okay, uh, Stephen King's It. The uh, ninety nine or sorry ninety okay that's, yeah series uh, and then Kill Bill volumes one and two ooh I like those yeah my also really I haven't out. seen those really yeah I need to get into those. I would um I was gonna say it's your pick Tarantino soon here well. man yeah I I I really like the first one we could do it we could really do a good. double feature in one episode that's two. true yeah I mean doesn't Tarantino regard them as one part one movie yeah theoretically yeah, yeah. um I love the um. 
the girl in the first one with the um, oh, with I, the the ball in the yeah, chain. Yeah, well, I can't even think of her name. Yeah, it's it's something like Kiko or something like that. It's always you're very close. Yeah, I you're know very I, close yeah. because I know it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you're actually very close. Um, but yeah, great movie though, Adam. You should definitely definitely. Should I, I need to get around to it eventually. Uh, Disney Plus has got WandaVision episodes one and two coming Friday. Very interested mm-hmm. in this. Yeah, I'm gonna. Tr- yeah, I think we'll probably do weekly updates like we did Mandalorian. Probably. Hopefully. Except maybe Blake will join in on this. Ah, one. maybe. <laughs> Blake, uh, have you seen much of the Marvel movies? You have, yeah, right? Yeah, sure, yeah you've yeah. seen the all MCU ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, I've seen all those. Ex- I have not seen Captain Marvel. And I apologize. Okay, that's one I probably it's should get one. Well, it's I think it's on Disney Plus. So it's okay. Oh, it's it not is. hard to find. Yeah, it, it's 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 okay. It's yeah. it's uh, so it's like a it's ones. like a run of the mid tier, mid tier, mid tier for yeah. sure, mid tier sure. Marvel for me. And the um, lady we're talking about in, in Kill Bill, it's a uh, go go is her name. Go go. Yeah, I had to Google it. That's a, yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> that's a really good. Movie. They got the pinball sound effects. Dude, that's like a, yeah. Hit people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an excellent, excellent movie. Also coming to Disney Plus, Mary Poppins Returns. I like baseball. <laughs> uh, Mary Poppins Returns is great. I love that movie. I haven't seen. I've probably seen the first Mary Poppins when I was very young, but I haven't seen it in a Mary long Poppins time. will always hold a special place yeah. in my heart. I will have a Mary Poppins tattoo one day. That's right. with, like, the umbrella. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Lin-Manuel Miranda's in the second one. That's true. I, I really I like the second man. one. It's a really good movie. Cool. Uh, and then another one that is an interesting Disney Plus add-on, Isle of Dogs, the Wes Anderson uh, animated yeah, film Yeah, that will that will uh, come through 20th century. Uh, oh, there was uh, yep. there was there was a lot of good reviews on that. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be a, really good. Actually, I hate Wes Anderson. Reviews. So, oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, this is like one of those opinions where like I genuinely have like no actual backing for it, and every, he's by all accounts is very good, and I can understand technically why he's very good. I just hate his style, like the mm, super right, centered, right. like very portrait cutesy. Like it just drives me up a wall. Mm-hmm. Um, there, but yeah, I mean. By all means, check out Isle of Dogs. I'm, I might. I really was interested in it when it came out. I just never got around to it. I like the hotel one. What's the Grand Budapest? Yeah, that's a good movie. Right, that's a good movie. I like I that haven't one. Seen that. I really hated Moonrise Kingdom. That's what really started this vendetta. <laughs> I'm coming after you, <laughs> Wes Anderson. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that's it for the new to streaming. But uh, what we're watching, Tyler, you seemed very anxious to get into the what we're watching. Oh, so. we're already in this. We've Jesus been, we've age. been watching. Sorry, <laughs> I had to uh, get a little bit of a drink there. Um, get some still doing friends, love friends. Go fuck yourself if you don't like friends. <laughs> okay, uh, 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 where where are you at on that? Uh, Late season six, yeah. I would imagine now. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chandler Chandler's, Chandler's just about to. Uh, I don't care if you fucking spoilers. Kiss my ass. <laughs> still in the old ass show. <laughs> um, Chandler's about to um, uh, propose. Uh-huh. To Monica, uh-huh. yeah. So I'm very, very interested in what's happening. Um, we caught a couple episodes of the boys. We did. We are officially in season two. Very hyped. I need to watch that. Dose boys. Yeah. Um, we watched Mulan. Which one? Live we action. Did. Live action. How was that? How was it? Um, I don't. I don't particularly care for it at all. Yeah. It would not. It did uh, not get. I thought it was reviews. okay. I thought they did some really cool things. Um, I really wanted them to have this kind of um, crouching tiger, hidden dragon kind of vibe. They did do that in some cases. Mm-hmm. I was totally cool with it. Um, I liked how like the the falcon was the witch. Um, yeah, that was neat. That's particularly something you find in in um, like Asian culture. Um, things that shape shifts are like witches, and they take different forms of things. And um, so I was totally cool with that. Um, I just I I feel like they could have literally just duplicated the animated film. I wish they did, and it would have been fucking incredible. Yeah, the animated I mean, the animated one is so good. That is one of my favorites. So that takes movies. me to my next point. Lee and I watched the animated one, mm-hmm. um, and it's just so much better. Uh, and I, I and it's it's hard because. You can obviously say they weren't really trying to replicate like John Favreau did, and you know kept some things out to make it more real, mm-hmm. um, with like Lion King, um, but yeah, I, I I understand the direction they took with this. I just I after watching the animated one, I really wish they would have just duplicated. I think not only that, just like as a film, 
there are moments in that movie that like just don't make sense visually yeah. like f- going from one place to the other like you just you they're photographing things you're just going well why are you showing it this yeah. way and yeah like, it could have been shown presented yeah, a lot better and like there's like certain shots you're just like well i can just see the seams here like you could have hid this so much right. easier 100 like that yeah and it just becomes this weird almost like display of technique without any substance behind it but like also it just it does not seem thought out yeah yeah, and I feel like some of the characters they they either could have left in or probably tried to have replicated a little bit more, um, like yeah. her her little band of uh, friends that she gets. I, w- I wish they would have found like a, a really big, fat, genuinely sweet bald guy, um, and and for Poe or whatever his name. Yeah, is. and um, a, a really short bearded guy who's pissed off all the time at the world, um. And yeah, so I, I I wish they and like Mushu, why why the fuck is Mushu not like, you you have a a phoenix flying around that's animated, mm-hmm. just make fucking Mushu animated, like I, I, it, I yeah. So there's there's problems for me, and I I will always stand by the animated one is way better. But gotcha. again, you can tell that they were definitely trying to not go that route. Right. Um. But overall, I, they did some things that I liked, and then uh, after that, I think. I think Nathaniel's making dinner or something. I don't know where you. I don't know what you're doing. But I, I turned on African Cats after Mulan was over, um, and I watched the shit out of that. I love Docs and okay. uh, Samuel. And that, that's on Disney, right? Just yeah, like a nature doc. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember when this first came out because I was borderline ready to buy this on like 4K Blu-ray when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Um, but like Samuel L. Jackson is the narr- narrator. Oh, I, I'm um. So- <laughs> uh, yeah, he's it, dude. It's so good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of good things <laughs> <laughs> that they did, and I anything that has to do with like a doc, especially a nature doc, mm-hmm. I'm fucking all in. Like it's it. I just I love yeah. animals and nature yeah, and all yeah, that I'm shit. With, did you watch it too, Nathaniel? Yeah, I was in and out of it. I was. I think I was taking a shower or something, something like that. Like that. You yeah. doing laundry or some it's, shit? I don't know. It's so crazy how, and I've always been big into animals as well. And and just the more, I used to not even be a cat person, like house cats, you know. Um, and one of my friends has a cat, and that's what kind of got me over the hump, I guess. But it's so crazy when you're looking at like um nature docs and you're just looking up things about like lions and, and yeah. big cats. Like cats are like the perfect. Like predator. predator, dude, it's they're insane. insane. Yeah, I yeah, love dude, it's they're so, so cool. scary to watch. Yeah. yeah, I love them, dude. They're so cool, and it's cool to see. Like they show you like uh, babies in this, like mm-hmm. infant cheetahs, and it's it's so cool to just see how they grow up, mm-hmm. and like they see mom kind of like crawling, so then they know like, all right, cool, I'm gonna start crawling, and like yeah, this is where yeah, I'm like yeah. hunting, and like, yeah. so it's cool to see that progression in mm-hmm. their lives and shit like that. But yeah, I'm I'm all in on nature documents. I had a buddy once, you guys know him, Kendall. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever met Kendall. Uh, probably not. Now that I think of it, I don't think you've ever met Kendall. But Kendall used to come over all the time, and it was Talk when about like Magnolia Kendall. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I think I think so. He went over and and went with uh, Troy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you probably yeah. Know. It's hard to see. It's hard to remember where you're at. Like everybody's. Like, oh, for sure. No, I I, I get or... you, but yeah, no, I don't yeah. remember. Um, I Kendall, I know who you yeah, are. Yeah, what's up, dude? He <laughs> actually he actually uh, just uh, texted me the other day and uh, he was like, dude, I found this in the podcast. Like I'm I'm, I'm all in. You got to no, do don't. a really oh, good awesome. job. So yeah, yeah. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I talked um, to him probably a month ago or so. Yeah, just kind of like randomly on Yeah, I dude, I I love Kendall for sure. Good people. Uh, but every time he used to come over when, like, my old roommate Rob and I, mm-hmm. um, Tubi would be here. And, like, That's we just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The and, cat. and we would just be chilling here on the couch. And then, like, the cat would just come up and, like, rub Kendall's leg. And Kendall would be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd just be like, I totally forgot you had a cat. I'm not used to cats. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was They're just different. so funny. Dude, They're I love different. cats. They're but so once cool. they like break down like their barrier and they're actually like nice they're you, like, like dogs yeah, it's so rewarding yeah, yeah, yeah. to have like the affection of a cat 100 we've had like, yeah, we've had like, the, the I can get that anywhere. we've talked yeah. about cats versus dogs before i think yeah because i think i mentioned one time how i'm slowly accepting the fact that a cat would fit my lifestyle better dude, than cats yeah 100 so dude, dude. Yeah. i love dogs yeah. dogs oh are my cool God, I love but dogs. cats are yeah. so 
fucking Yeah, dogs cool. are a lot you of work. You don't have to take them out. Mm-hmm. They just chill with you. Sometimes you get an asshole. Deal well, with hey, it. They got different people. personalities. Right. Um, yeah, dude, cats are yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. But, um, yeah, in, in regards to those dogs, not to ramble, but, yeah, cats cats are dope, dude. I mean, I, I would, they're the perfect predator. I, I think a cat is beating a, any canine of ca- comparable size. 100%. A cat's winning. Yeah, cats in facts. Too. And I'm a big wolf guy. <laughs> you are, yeah, yeah. I think most cats would would, would pretty easily hand, handle a wolf. Yeah, I do. They're insane. Yeah. What else came after that? Didn't we watch something else? Was that when we watched... My Rainies, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, I think My Rainies was just a separate night. I think Mulan and African Cats was okay. Either that, it was either it was either African Cats after this, or it was African Cats after yeah, Mulan. I it was because I was very surprised by the runtime of this. It's we pulled like this up, and, and it was like an hour and a half. Yeah, and I was like, "Holy yeah. shit!" I didn't even notice it was that short. Anybody uh, else? What have you guys been watching? Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, we watched. We watched. Uh, what was it? Blown away. Is that what the actual name of it was? For best in glass. The oh glass show. yeah, yeah. I forgot about this show. Um, yeah, blown, blown away, blown away. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's about glass blowing. It's a glass oh, yeah, blowing comp- yeah. competition show on Netflix. Kind of similar to Forge and Fire. Um, it's Except a group they of people. Blow glass. Yeah, they blow in glass. And they make art. It's fucking awesome. It's really cool. Yeah. I watched this a while ago, and then yeah. I got I I seemingly always get Nathaniel hooked on these like random shows, and uh, I got him hooked on another one, which I'm sure he'll probably bring up here in a minute. Yeah, so the other one's called the Repair Shop. <laughs> yeah, it's dope. <laughs> the Repair Shop I've never seen. I just kind of stumbled across this by myself one day, and I was like, "Dude, you should watch this." It's basically a, a shop where people bring their old things that have broken down, and then they've got just a collection of people that are all good at fixing things, yeah. and then they all fix the things, and then it's great. It's it's very yeah, calming. and then they they reveal it to the the person that brought it in, and it's 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 fucking great. It's a good show. People cry because these are like family heirlooms and stuff like that, yeah, so they're really cool. They got a really cool backstory, but yeah, it's a cool show. Um, I also watched. The Coen Brothers, Blood Simple, um, that was like one of their first movies, I want to say, if not their first movie. What, what's that one about? Um, it is about a wife and hu- a wife and husband who are splitting up. The wife is, is, is running away with another man, and the husband hires a private investigator to find them and then attempt to kill them, and then it all goes sort of Coen Brothers-y. Mm-hmm. Um Really good, um, kind of a, a, a neat character study, a a dark southern gothic style um, thriller slash almost horror in some areas, right. um, but good nonetheless. Um, what else did I watch? I watched some other stuff. Uh, I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood last night. Um, first time I got to that since it's come out for sure. So how is that? I actually bought that on Vudu. Yeah. I think... Around Christmas, where they had a sale, no, for sure. Um, so I ended up catching yeah. it, but I haven't sat down and watched it yet. It's though, really so good, curious, man. Like, I really like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've had- Leo, man. Oh, mm-hmm. the acting in general is just because uh, it's hard to it's hard to say just Leo because Brad Pitt is fantastic in it. Too. Yeah, it's it's weird to realize that that's the first time that they are like on screen together in a movie. And is uh, it really? Yeah. And that yeah, because they the, just their chemistry together is so good. It is. It's great. Um, but yeah, no, I really, I really, really enjoy it. Um, I think it's Tarantino in some ways at his like most restrained. Um, you can tell he's almost like he just it, it feels a little bit more reverent than his other films. I would say he doesn't mm-hmm. quite, like, and I think that maybe just be because he cares so much about the story that he's telling. Right. He doesn't want to like present it as anything more than like what it is. But yeah, I I paired it actually with um my first viewing of Boogie Nights the other day. So, like, I watched Boogie Nights, and then I watched this, and I think they kind of tread a lot of the same ground in some areas as well, too. So, mm. um, definitely a recommend for, from me on that one. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get to that yeah. one. Then what else did I do? I think um, I think that was mostly it for me. Did you say Boogie Nights? Yeah, I did say Boogie Nights. Um, um, did Hollywood. I thought there was, like, another one that you were watching. That might have been Blood Simple, but... I feel like... 
I don't know. I yeah, I might, I might have snuck in yeah. another one in there, too. Your I list is probably going to be bigger next week, so. If I remember it, I'll come back to it. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I, I do have some time off this week, so I might be <laughs> crashing through <laughs> some stuff. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, the other one was, was Ace and I finished Evangelion. <sighs> mm. How do you feel? So we, and I mean. Uh, so to watch to, the movie? To set the scene, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. So to set the scene, to, to bring, to past listeners up to speed or new or new listeners up to speed uh the show is called neon genesis evangelion Aish and i were watching it last week it's one of these iconic anime shows it's one of my favorite shows of all time it's one of my face- favorite pieces of media of all time agreed um sorry adam's having to rejigger his microphone <laughs> he's having to rejigger his microphone here um but yeah so last week we had watched 20 episodes or so I th- there's 26 episodes and then also a movie and then so i yes. pretty much as soon as we were done recording last week we day after day yeah. after new year's yeah new year's day which new we year's talked day. about last week we <laughs> got we got through yeah new year's day there you go got through 12 and then i got through 12 yeah. and fell asleep and then you watched like two or three more without me yeah but then i ended up re-watching those anyways so oh, then okay. we got up to 21 22 i want to say when we recorded last week and then the day after the day after we recorded we finished yeah. it. We watched like four episodes and then the movie. Yes, and we have not talked about it since then. <laughs> Again, I talked. I talked about this last week. We have this unspoken rule where we're just we're gonna compress it or, or you know analyze at our own ra- ra- own rate and then reconvene here on the pod. So how do you? Oh feel? my god, man! This show <laughs> is so good. <laughs> uh, so the last two episodes oh, were fucking wild. Yeah, and I still have yet to go back and rewatch them because I I think I'm just gonna do a whole another watch through. Did you read that article? I did. I watched. I read mm. that. I read that one, and I read um the one about um Ano the creator. The one that's linked in the article mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Yes, okay. So I was I, I was hoping you would actually read that actually. So you worked. This my plan has <laughs> unfolded perfectly. <laughs> yeah. No, I read both of them. Um, which, which were great articles. Really helps, right? Yeah, and it, it really helps. And you know, it's funny because they analyze it in two completely different ways. Mm. Um, which I thought was very, very interesting because I think that's what's so great about it is it says so much, but also could say different things to different people and it's all up to interpretation at some points. And I think that was really good. Definitely. Um, it gets very philosophical, which I'm super into. But here's the thing is I was thinking about it and I don't know if I can recommend this to everybody. I feel like no. I feel like most anime watchers maybe, but like someone like my dad, like I could recommend maybe a uh, animated movie or something to him and mm-hmm. he'd be fine with it. But like, even if he was in an anime, I really don't think he'd like this. And I think most people, it might be this might be a little overwhelming for them. Yeah, hundred percent. But I will say that when it, it, what that means is when you do recommend it for someone, it becomes like that much more special because mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I know that you will like yeah. this, I, yeah. and this will That's like so change true. your life. Because yeah. <laughs> it was, man. I mean, it it really does fuck with you a little bit. Um, and it's, it's so it, it's emotionally like, draining. Yeah, it's emotionally as fu- it's it's just emotional as fuck in general, and yeah. it's just harrowing. Like that's yeah. my always my like best way of describing it is you just feel like it is an assault on all of your senses by yeah. the end of it yeah but it, it's, it's like a lot also it's a lot to go through in but some ways. it's so worth it um because they pack so much into 26 episodes and then a two-hour movie um yeah so i i always enjoy like filming or on or not filming Filming's not at all the correct <laughs> word, but understanding <laughs> understanding these people's reactions towards the the last two episodes and then going into the film because the film is so much everything that those last two episodes are not at yeah. all. I still enjoyed those last two episodes for what they are, but they were a little wild. Um, but it's it was fine. And, and upon reading that article and ex- and getting an explanation for why they are that way, mm. um, it makes me you know, accept it a lot more. Because I was talking to a buddy last night. Um, my buddy Will, who I've watched Your Name and and Ichimama Tambien with, sure. who lives in the house with me. Okay, right, right. Um, he he's big into anime. And he's seen it before, but he hasn't seen the movie. Wow. He never went and saw the movie, and he said he's seen it at least five times, like the series five yeah. times all the way through, and he loves it. But the only thing that doesn't make it amazing for him is the ending. And I'm like, dude, you haven't even seen the actual ending. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you haven't seen the movie, you haven't seen how it's supposed to end. And he like. I don't know. He was really pissing me off with what he was saying. Cause he was like, <laughs> I, but he's like, it's not fair that he can just add an ending on when he wants to. And I'm like, dude, that's not, that's not how it was. Not, a, not know, at all what happened. Not at all what happened. It's just. Shut up, Noah. So, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, not Noah. Noah. No, it's not Noah. <laughs> and not my brother, Noah. The other Noah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Speaking no, of your brother, Noah, your brother, this Noah. is way off track, but I was on Instagram and I found your dad's 
under my recommended Instagram oh, sure. follows, and then I saw pictures of your brother. So now I've seen Noah Noah Gingrich. He's he's not a secret. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's just like I was like, oh, I found Nathaniel's dad's Instagram. He's so yeah. great. He's honestly probably one of my favorite people. He's a good dude. Yeah, he borderlines yep. on like me. Like there was a point in my life where like Justin's friends started liking me more. <laughs> and there's gonna be a point in Nathaniel's life where I'm yeah, like, where Noah's so much cooler than you. Yeah, well, it's it's tough. It's a tough life course, you know. But I understand. I get it. You know, I'm humble. Can't wait to meet him. Comes with the territory, man. Uh, but yeah, so Neon Genesis, it's great. Everyone should watch it. How do you feel about um, the rebuilds? Do you think I, I want to check them out? Yeah. Oh, I definitely want to check them out. Yeah. Um, because they look like better animation. Uh, and then for sure, just a, a much cleaner look and and style to it, and I think I'd really dig those too. Yeah. So, Blake, have we been able to convince you to come on board the the Neon Genesis train at this point? <laughs> um, you're getting there. Like I said just I, I haven't watched an anime in, in a while. I think the last anime I finished. The nice thing about this one is it's not a million episodes. Right. You're and looking that's at what one, already sells. Yeah. That's what's already you're you're looking at one ep- once twenty six episode season and mm-hmm. a movie. So I like, would actually be fa- not a lifelong. I would be commitment. fascinated to hear your opinion at the end yeah. of it. Oh, me yours too. was uh, you said Death Note probably right? No, that was the first one I watched. The last one I've watched, it's probably. Oh, I'm sorry, it's probably Parasite. Mm. Oh yeah, Parasite probably was probably the last anime. Yeah. I did watched. you finish that? I did, and that was probably seven, eight months ago for sure. Okay, yeah, because I feel like you fell off. You were just like, man, Parasite's okay. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of started it without you, anyways. Yeah, I just um, and I then didn't. It was really hard for you to kind of get into. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. And I didn't. I didn't love it enough to be like, dude, you have to fucking. Watch Plus, this yeah, show, so. me being so new to the world of anime, there's yeah. so many that I was like, oh, I've got to sure. try these yeah. first before I start picking up my own and like odd up. weird things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got, we got, we went this in. This has been like the year of anime for you. It really has. Yeah, yeah. You were was last year. Dream. Oh it's, yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty yeah. was the year. What man. a great year, though. True. Yeah, we, yeah. We, like the we, perfect year to do it. We did a lot yeah. of. Uh, we went in. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of. I don't know why. That's the mindset I have right now in twenty twenty one. I just want. I don't know why. I'm mean, just gonna get super anime. I think. Dude, I fucking love anime. It's have you um, seen so much. Adam? I've not. No. To, uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Mm-mm. I really haven't watched have, much. Have you? I'm sure you've seen Tokyo. Yeah, Ghoul. I've seen Tokyo Ghoul. Have you? I haven't done Tokyo Ghoul okay. yet. No. Yeah, uh, that's on the. I don't know. Probably. Five or six name list of animes I've seen. Yeah, I think uh, I think next I'm gonna go into. I think I'm gonna read Dragon Ball and then watch Dragon oh, Ball Z. Man, you're you're in for a long. But no, time. but I can read it so much faster than I can yeah. watch it. Like I've the the reading side of things, I will I will get through it so much quicker. Yeah, because mm-hmm. uh, just because there's like no filler and. Mm-hmm. You don't have to wait for all the somebody screaming and for yeah. fucking ten minutes. Yeah, so I think I might read that and then watch Dragon Ball. Yeah, Z, but hmm. we'll see for sure. Dragon Ball's incredible. Uh, yeah, Neon Genesis, great. Um, mm-hmm. I I would love to talk more about this, but like that would require a whole episode. Yeah, right. so maybe 100%. if Blake checks it out at some point, I'll do a rewatch. Yeah. And, and what is that on? Get around. It's on Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dubbed and subbed mm. for sure. You could get away with the dub though. The yeah, hundred percent. The dub is you, really good. You, yeah. you told me how the sub. Uh, yeah, we had this conversation. Just, yeah, it's so much. Yeah. It, it's so much to absorb that if you're trying to read it, it's going to be even harder. So yeah. the, the dub is. Yeah, and the translation's like not quite perfect. Too. Yeah, it, the translation is jarringly different. Cause yeah, you had the subtitles on for like an episode or two, and I was like, "Dude, you got to turn them off, man. I can't. <laughs> right. I can't hear one thing and read another. It doesn't. Yeah. it really." Kind of, it's just it, distracting. So yeah, I can I can confidently recommend the dub. Yeah, for sure. And I like the dub. The voice acting's great. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Attack on Titan. Can chugging along with that. Have Weird. you finished season two? And no, season I'm about three? midway through through season two. Fair enough. Um, I haven't. I didn't watch much at all. Um, during the week, and then I watched about eight episodes last night. Uh, seven episodes or so. Mm-hmm. It's good to hear. Um, yeah, it was. It was good. Uh, I've gotten to like the big reveal of the second season, but uh, I, I had. Remember. I don't know how I knew it, but I had already known that. What 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 is point. the big reveal of the second season? Then? I I haven't watched that in a while. Uh, I, I guess we could say it. I mean, it yeah. came yeah, out. It spoilers. Uh, one of the main characters turns out to be the armored titan, and another one of the main characters okay, turns out to be that. the colossal okay, titan. So yeah, I remember that. Um, and I I don't know why I think my buddy I think one of my buddy when I first watched season one in 2014 had went went ahead and read read the manga and then he I remember hit asking him what happens because um, I didn't want to wait for season two and I ended up not watching season two when it came out. Um, 
But I remember ending up asking him what ends up happening, and he told me that, I think. And so when I started my rewatch now, I had it in the back of my head. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're this and this, and so that was right. So it wasn't too much of a shock, mm. um, but it was also cool. They had, like, a cool battle and stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, chugging along with that. And then uh, I also checked out that history of swear word show with Nick Cage. Oh, yeah? How was that? <laughs> I watched about two episodes. It's fine. It's it, It's yeah. one of those, like... <laughs> Not really a documentary. It's kind of a documentary series where they do get in the history of the stuff, but yeah. it's also like they have comedians on just talking about for sure, you know, talking about the words and stuff. Um, uh, man, what is the guy's name? Jeff Jeffries, the comedian. I'm so blank on his Jim name. Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries. Yeah, I've seen him live. I don't know why I blanked out his name all of a sudden. Um, he's in there. Uh, he's a good one, and there's some other more ex- obscure comedians, but there are some good bits to it. Right, and Nick right. Cage is just, it's just Nick, he goes off and swears a bunch, and you know, it's fine. Right. Uh, check it out if you want to. for a few laughs. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I turned it on because I was doing something while I was watching it um, on my laptop, and I was like, I just want something on the TV. I, you know, I was eating, and mm-hmm. I was like, I just want something on the TV, and saw that pop up, so I thought I'd check it out. For sure. Uh, and then I watched Casablanca for the first time last night. Oh. With the parents. Uh, really liked it. Yeah, it's That's good. the yeah. Spanish film, right? No, or no. Like no. I'm thinking of something completely different. Uh, yeah, you uh, must be th- thinking of something different. This is the Humphrey Bogart, um, one of the most famous films. One of, of the all most time. famous. <laughs> films yeah. Ever, yeah, set set in Casablanca. Yeah, uh, it was really good. You know, for someone who stated on pod, um, on record, that a movie before 1970 <laughs> would never be in my top Whoa. ten. This one certainly is that film. This one like certainly shot. Oh, yes. okay. I don't know yeah. why I thought it was Spanish. Probably they're like on the name. Uh, they're like on the Blanca? airstrip. But yes, I have seen yeah. that movie. Yeah. Yes, uh, it was really good though. Definitely yeah. one of the best over older movies I, I've seen. Yeah, I, that was one I saw in film class in high school, and, like, one of the quirks in our class was that we had to, like, work around when we were we were watching movies, but then we also had to, we were filming movies as well, and we had to kind of, like, balance the time between the two, and so the week that we were filming was also the week that we were watching Casablanca, so I never really got to have more than one eye on it at any given time. I do want to go back and watch it at yeah. some point. Were you able to stream it? Or is HBO it? Max. Oh, okay, yeah, so maybe I'll give it, maybe I'll give that a watch this week. Yeah, it was really good. Blake, why don't you finish it, off, finish it out here? Yeah, man, I'll go last, and, and to be honest with you, I didn't watch much at all, man, so this was my first week back. Um, back working, working yes, yeah, so after, like, what, like, Nine days off, ten days off. So I was just super slammed. So I didn't even watch anything. Um, just kind of just worked a lot of hours this week. Um, side note, then. So on top of that, though, is that a Wally that I'm seeing? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm trying to yeah, figure that it out. It is. Yeah, time. that's a that's a Christmas gift from uh, one of my lovely sisters. Uh, we did a Secret Santa this year, yeah. and uh, shout she, out, uh, yeah, Abby. Um, yeah. Shout out, Abby. <laughs> Why was it? Why are you laughing at Abby? I, yeah. I meant it to. I meant oh, it to. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck, man? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Boo. They're so similar to one another. I can't. <laughs> I go for one. But and yeah, I she. Go. I guess she knows some guy that like makes like these big ones and That's dope. like different art sculptures out like just mm-hmm. metal and like nuts and bolts and shit like that and just welds them together. And she's like, "Can you just make me a smaller one?" Because I guess the one he regularly makes is like fucking like big, like an <laughs> right. actual like, size, almost wall, like a like, life size. Yeah. yeah, right, right, right. Um, so he dumbed it down and. Made that little guy, and yeah. Wally is like one of my all-time favorite Disney movies. Um, it's definitely up there. Yeah, I was um, saying it's another great Disney movie as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I she got me that, and I was yeah. hyped. So yeah, dope. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that caught my eye. Sorry. So yeah, no, no worries. <laughs> I said long story short, I didn't really watch anything, so that caught my eye. Just kind of wanted to touch on that. Um, I obviously watched uh, Ma Rainey's. Um, yeah, that, that's really it. Was that really it? Sure. You know, some beaks, some sorry, some beaks, some beaks, <laughs> some beaks. Uh, some weeks are busier than others, you know. Yeah, dude. I just after taking mad time off of work, dude, it was just sure. a long, week fucking busy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I got you. Well, then I guess we can talk about that movie you watched, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I happened to watch it as well, and I'm assuming time. You did? Have, yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> oh, we saw it. I watched it. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Welcome, everybody, to the review segment here on Back Row Banter. Nathaniel, if it's their first time here, or maybe they just forgot, can you remind them how a review segment works here? Yeah, so basically how the re- review segment works here at Back Row Banter is I will introduce the movie to you, kind of tell you when it came out, um, you know, who directed it, who's starring in it, any kind of pertinent, fun information right off the bat. Right off the... the right t- off the bat. That, that, was, that was top and bat at the same time. Right off the bat. Um, 
And then at that point, we'll uh, we'll go up to uh, or excuse me, we'll read the IMDb summary on there and um, give you basically all the pertinent information that you need off that. Anything before any sort of spoilers, and then we'll go around the room, kind of give our initial thoughts. Do we like it? Do we not? Um, you know, any kind of you have to talk about it right off the top information. And then we'll break it down to a yes or no answer. Would we recommend this? Would we not? From then on, it will be spoiler time. We'll go into our deeper thoughts on the movie, uh, go over any kind of plot, spo- plot spoiler summary, any of that kind of stuff. Um, really dive into it and then bring on everyone back who didn't want to be spoiled and see where it ranks on the entropy list. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Let's get into it here. Then. You want the uh, IMDb summary here? I've got uh, it already pulled I up. I would love it. Chicago, 1927, a recording session. Tensions rise between Ma Rainey, her ambitious horn player, and the white management determined to control the uncontrollable Mother of the Blues, based on Pulitzer Prize winner August Wilson's play. So yeah, this is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. It just came out uh, late 2020 on Netflix. December 18th, to be exact. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, it stars Viola Davis, Chadwick Boseman, um, Coleman Domingo is kind of the other one. Euphoria. Ali. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah that, Euphoria. That's where I recognize him from. I'm yeah. pull up the IMDb. Um, directed by George C. Wolfe, and it's adapted from a play by, what was it, August Wilson, I believe? August it, Wilson. Yep. Is, yeah. the, is the gentleman's name. So, yeah. Uh, same guy who did Fences, and I believe this is actually adapted by uh, Denzel Washington's company, similar to how that one was as well. And it is definitely a play. You can tell that mm-hmm. um, from the actual, how the, from just the whole, the way the whole thing shot, the the setting itself, um, how it's structured, everything to its full on runtime as well. But mm-hmm. what were you guys' thoughts? How did you feel? Um,. I'll speak first. Uh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> Tyler's on his phone, so yeah. I was like, I, I, I'm I on like IMDb, it. so oh, yeah, sorry. Me, me too, though. So was I. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely go on record. I'd like it. I'd recommend it. Um, it's always um, nice to kind of have like some type of heritage film or background, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's obviously it's in a Chicago film as well. Yeah, it's a nice. So I watched this with my dad. Um, Did you now? You said your mom had already seen it, if I remember correctly. Correct. Last week. Yeah. Did you watch it with her again, or I was it just not. you and your dad? I okay. did not. So I watched it with my dad. Um, but yeah, we all like it. It's super nice to see Chadwick Boseman. I yeah. Think. I mean, I think we'd all agree on. I that. I was thinking about Sad this well, earlier. I think I think he may get nominated for an Academy Award. Yeah, yeah like, he was amazing in this. Yeah. No, yeah, this think, is one of his better performances. I think, I think is between this his last. Film as yeah. well. Yeah. I, yeah, I think between this and The Five Bloods coming out last year and the fact that there's just not a lot of movies that came out last year, I think this could be very easily be a, a year where he gets nominated or even wins one of these things. Yeah. Um, in general. Um, or the Academy can be the Academy and just not nominate a black guy. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, that's yeah, also yeah, very possible. possible. Yeah. yeah, Sonic will be nominated. Yeah. For <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I'm with you guys. I think uh, this is this is really nice. It's a it's a very literary piece of mm-hmm. of, of media. It's kind of cool to see that again. I like these kind of movies every now and then where you can definitely tell it is a play. Yeah. Um, or you can see the, the kind of the the adaptation lines around it, but definitely. they're always really well done. They always have these great um, you know, soliloquies or, or or acting moments themselves that you really get to see these monologues. You know. Yeah, yeah. you really get to see these these artists kind of flex their creative muscles. In yeah. ways that you don't necessarily always get to see, too. So, um, overall, just a, a a solid film uh, for my part. Doesn't doesn't blow your hair back or, or create yeah. or or like achieve anything that you may mean haven't seen before. But it's yeah, just a really good entry into mm-hmm. into um, film in general. Yeah, I Ty? love the, I love this first scene where this is probably my favorite scene in the movie when they're in the practice room for the first time. They're all kind of shooting the shit, going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're really really good. really good. There's a lot of good things uh, yeah. that happen in this. I, I honestly, once I, I think I said this earlier, but once they roll the credits and they say it's based off a play, I didn't know that going into it. And I was like, oh, I well, didn't that either. makes so much more sense. I neither, and, and um, I definitely felt like could, that could be the case midway through. And yeah. It made sense when I saw it. Uh, yeah, you guys hit the nail on the head. Uh, Chadwick Boseman absolutely kills this. Uh, I'm a big Viola Davis fan. Yeah. yeah. Um, She's almost unrecognizable. Davis. She yeah. is. Damn yeah. near, bro. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. So yeah, they they all did a really great job, and uh, I think it's really cool for some of these other side actors. Like you said, they kind of get to 
the, these these people were kind of they were made in plays, and a lot of these people have more of a theatrical background than mm-hmm. you know some people might think, and, and it's really cool to for them to be able to kind of get back to the roots and show that kind of side of things. And I like some of the long pauses that they have in this with like the 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 scene where he's yelling at the sky, um, yeah, yeah. like that's that's very long and at some point mm. i'm sure some people were like this could have ended like three or four screams ago but i'm like he's just he's fucking in it it's yeah. so cool what he's talking about god yeah okay um so yeah i think there's a lot of good things uh that they did um but yeah we can definitely obviously get into it but yeah i'm all in i think it's a great movie yeah, yeah. i think that's an all-around recommend for the four of us right uh yeah i would say so so um with that we're gonna kind of get into the spoiler section of this podcast and so if you do want to come back and see where it ranks on our entropy list do check the time codes below uh we'll miss you but go check it out it's on netflix it's easy to find it's only like an hour and a half runtime. oh yeah it's super easy to watch come back and uh listen to what we think about it even further but uh yeah spoiler nathaniel do you want to fill out the, the plot here a little bit uh, yeah, so it basically takes place over the course of a day or of a recording session where uh, Ma Rainey has come in um, and has been brought up from her tour, her highly successful tour, to record an album for all of popular music fans, basically. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the blues are at their height. Um, mm-hmm. She's kind of determined to keep doing it her way. The uh, white middle class seems to be trying to get more kind of preppy with it and kind of commercialize this yep. deep, soulful music. Um, and so she sees it as this kind of great, there's this great kind of morality play where she's, she's kind of talking about, well, this is once, once, they have my voice on 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 recording that. I, then then I don't matter to them. So she's kind of trying to get everything she possibly can out of these out of these music right. execs while they're simultaneously trying to just kind of use her for her talent and then move on to the next thing and just kind of. But you're also kind of sympathize with them because they're just trying to get their job done. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So it's this it's this kind of great or at least one of them. Yeah yeah. yeah it's this it's this very. Um, very human, very um, natural, relatable kind of situation that's going on as well. Um, But then kind of simultaneously to that, you have the rest of the band rehearsing um, and dealing with Chadwick Boseman character who is trying to come up in the music world, kind of achieve that same level of success yeah, that, for himself. that Ma Rainey has yeah. Yeah, for himself. And, and, and we kind of get more insight into what exactly drives him and, and, and what he uh, or how he, he wants to go about doing it um, while kind of simultaneously filling out the, the other characters um, in the play as well. So it kind of takes place over two real big areas, that the kind of recording studio itself and then the rehearsal space. Um but yeah, there's there's definitely some things that like keep, tip it off to very much like a play style thing, like the the door that he keeps going to mm-hmm. to try and open. I'm like in my head every time I can see, it, I, I can just see, picture him on stage going to this door that's over the side yep. and, and not opening up. Yeah, or they almost like they that. they film it in a way where it's very dark yeah, around it. You yeah, almost only see the door with like one hint of light coming for out sure, of it. So for sure, for sure. But so yeah, it kind of all culminates in. Um, uh, Chadwick Boseman's character being revealed to be something m- much less stable than we're kind of led to believe at at the start, and he actually ends up killing another one of the band members. After, Toledo, man. After the uh, the successful recording of oh, man, Toledo, he stepped on a shoe of Ma Rainey's um, Ma Rainey's uh, final song, I guess, and then it, it kind of ends on the note of the uh, the the. What is I'm struggling for the word the the music uh, producers I guess uh, stealing uh, Bozeman's characters yep. songs and, yeah. and, and Stur- having them Stur- Sturdivant or whatever yeah his name kind was. of yeah. whitewashing them um, with a with a concert orchestra so. and it sucks it yeah. does oh, and you know so what happened you yeah. know that's true yeah. <laughs> it's yeah it, it's I think that's like one thing that this does really well and obviously the play probably did it very well too but I didn't see the play I saw this so um, but yeah it's it's crazy to to see like where his life has been uh up until this point and he's still obviously at a fairly young age um and there's a lot of crazy crazy things that happen that you may not see on an everyday basis but when you have a timepiece like this it's important to realize that like racism is still very much around um and Mm -hmm. you know people are you know, there were, there were ads and like billboards for people to go like go work in houses and like house cooking. And like, it's, it's basically like very, uh, low paying slavery. 
And sure. it's it's, oh, yeah. it's crazy. Um and you know, it's it's crazy to see how he was like, Oh, you're just doing like what the white man says and then you know, it goes into like his mom's backstory and like how his dad left, and it's it's fucking insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a really f- um, thorough kind of deconstruction of the the character of like the brash black male yeah. that like you you kind of is is almost a stereotype in society. Like these guys that are so full of confidence and they're loud yeah. and they're swagger and everything like mm-hmm. that. And then Bozeman does this kind of great. Where you're you're introduced to him at the start, and then he kind of does this kind of three tier, almost strip back, where every monologue he's given, kind of he st- he he takes one step closer to kind of his baser self, right? right. Mm-hmm. Until finally, he he his his inability to kind of comprehend the 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 same thing that 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 gives him his drive and his 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 boldness it inevitably kind of curves over and. And become and blinds him to right. his to, to his reality and right. becomes his downfall in the right. end as well too yeah, um, and then you he's also kind of surrounded by these characters that have already lived past that obviously mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. and them just trying to like T- tell him do their fucking job but like yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but like tell him but also like try and have Make him, him figure it out yeah. for yeah. himself too yeah I thought was really interesting um, listen to your elders man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but like Always. at the same time, you're you're rooting for him too. Yeah, you're 100%. Like, oh, you yeah. want him I want to do him it. To make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and I think they do too. In in some yeah, respects, yeah. Deep down, oh, I they think do. they try and vicariously live through him, and they're like, you know, I want you to make it and stuff like that. But they're also like, man, like I just also want to be done with today. Yeah, I loved the <laughs> I loved the bit where the I think it's the bass player is kind of talking about. He's like, yeah, it's just another day, another job, and and Bozeman's character is like, slow drag. Like, what about yeah, what about the artistry of it? Yeah, and like he's just kind of like, well, no, this is. This is what I do to make a living, and this yep. is this mm-hmm. is my job, and I'm just here to right. basically show up. Yeah, you know, and that that works for him. Yeah, yeah twenty five bucks is a lot of money back then too. Oh, it was hundred yeah. percent, especially for just being, especially for being in, a, in an African American, um, for sure. Yeah, like like recording band, like studio band. Mm-hmm. I think Ma Rainey's and the younger girl's relationship is just so fucking weird. Yeah, that yeah, that was a little weird. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just kind of is what it is. Yeah. I think like they just they just kind of. It's just a weird aspect to add to the whole thing. Yeah. But uh, it, yeah. it's interesting that they add like um, because obviously it looks like they ha- have like some sort of like sexual relationship. Yeah. Channel. But oh, it's yeah. always interesting when they add stuff like that in, in movies that are dated in, in older times. Because stuff like that was like so frowned upon. Yeah, it was it was back totally back. You know taboo. I mean? yeah. Totally. So it, it, it's good that that even people of of that sexual orientation have that sort of representation. Yeah. Right. So where where people who are African American like me can have representation of of seeing, um, for example, a movie like this with a predominantly black cast, right? But there's also people who are African American who are, um, who have different sexual orientations, right? So it's always good that they can kind of like hit all of these pins. Um and, and just kind of get away from like the the textbook Hollywood stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I think it, it doesn't come out of nowhere because we see that reflected in her relationship with uh, Levy as well too. So like it's also kind of illustrating another way of of of, of just existing in the world and kind of she's a and, sugar baby, right? And like she, <laughs> and, and like it, it, she's, it's she's going where the money is, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so she it's 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 representing that too. It's not only showing you know Ma as this kind of figure who is lonely and is kind of looking for any sort of uh, of of companionship along with it, but also like, survival. Yeah, how the, yeah. the that dancer I, and I don't even remember her character's name either. Um, but how her, her what she does to survive and how she kind of exists in the world too. So uh, it's not Juicy May, Dusty May. Yeah, yeah, it's not completely. I, I didn't find it like jarring, and that came out of completely out of nowhere or anything like that. But I think it made made sense in the context of the of the film. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this movie has a lot to say. I, I think, think they did. Yeah, I think they did a really good job at you know. It's they, just well written. Yeah, it's, it's very well written. It's it's well acted. I think it's it's cool to try and stage something that has this much to say in just a studio, such a small setting. Yeah, and like such a, a small area. scale story. Yeah. To, it's funny too coming off of Soul last week and like we were kind of talking about like the lighting and how everyone is, sh- is shot in that and then going again into like a live action film with a predominantly mm-hmm. black cast yeah. like again seeing th- almost those same techniques used mm-hmm. to create that those points of difference again mm-hmm. uh, just in the real world I thought was really interesting. Yeah. 
and and that even t- and to go back like you're saying to soul where that just shows how much they hit it on the head where like people still have different skin complexions despite being mm. African American. Mm-hmm. You know what I oh, mean? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This you see it on there. You you see it on soul, um, or see it in soul. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that that's definitely just kudos to them again for sure. Who's the um who's the director on this? Do you guys happen to get it, have a name? Uh, uh, George C. Wolf. Has he done anything else? Of Let's Eddie find out. Knows? Yeah, it's not a name that I confess to be very familiar with. He really hasn't done a lot. He's it done. Looks like it mostly. The Immortal Life of Henrietta. Of Henrietta Lacks. It was an HBO movie with. Uh, Henrietta Lacks. Oprah Winfrey. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And then um, Knights in Rodanthe. <laughs> in 2008. Yeah, it just looks kind of like he was just, you know, a working right, director right. for hire and that kind of yeah. thing. Maybe he's doing more uh Yeah, it looks like he might have been doing more kind of play stuff. Um as in directing more plays and and and, and that kind of thing. Well, good well. for him then. I mean, this this might end up being a, a breakthrough for him. Yeah, so, I mean, you know. it I thought it, it was It was uh, well directed, I think. Yeah, I thought I it was well done, well shot, well uh, well directed. Definitely, you know, it its advantages are always going to be in the acting and the writing department yeah. rather than obviously the visual storytelling side of things. And it, it definitely feels like a play if that's a, a criticism, if you want to take it at that. But a hundred percent does. And I don't think that has, you know, I think with a lot of plays, I mean, sometimes I could hamper the, a movie, but this really feels like it could be a play. And I, I think it plays into that. And I think it really does. It, it, it it, it's a great adaptation, I think. Yeah, they do a really good job. I think play they, movie, I think it's they yeah. make you almost feel like you're sitting in the audience. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. we had all the lights off for the most part, and yeah, it was it was really well done. Yeah. So you want to see where it, where it ranks? Yeah, I don't know. Do you have any, any closing thoughts here? Anybody uh, want to add on? Any big closing thoughts? I think. Um, I just love this time period. Yeah, I think the it's a great the spot. 1920s are crazy. Yeah, and uh, like Gatsby did it really well. Gatsby, yeah, um, man, I love that book. And I did I like the, the I love the blues. Like uh, there was a time in my life where I lived in the city, mm-hmm. and there was a blues joint like right down the street. Oh, that's and awesome. that was like my weekend thing. Yeah, I'm sure oh. you'd go to it, yeah. see some good live. Hundred percent, dude. Yeah, I, yeah. I believe it, bro. I love that. Um, I, I'm you know you might not guess it, but I'm into that kind of stuff too. Actually. Yeah, and yeah, I I, I spent a lot of my like alone time at like in that year that I was there. So like it was really cool because yeah. I just got to kind of like do my own thing, and I love the blues. Yeah. Um. So it was really cool to. It's really cool to to see that aspect like the the blues like literally like came from the african community mm-hmm. and like it's it's so crazy to to see in this at the end on how like um they were trying to make it like a, a white thing and like mm-hmm. it just doesn't sound the same it doesn't give you the same feel mm-hmm. um well, he was. Uh, I mean, Chadwick Boseman was right. I mean, if you don't let him play it, it's not going to sound how right. he wants yeah. it. Yeah, you know? and uh, it's it's cool because you get that art side of thing. Like people do things that cater to them in the art world because it's their art. Like nobody else could have played that the way he was going to play it. Mm-hmm. And um, it's it's really cool to to give more credit to the African community, African American community, uh, for like the the blues. I love the blues. And it was yeah. really kind of born there. All right. Entropy less time, I believe. Welcome yes, back, listeners, students. who decided to skip over the spoilers. We're going to get this movie up upon our entropy list for up those upon. of you. <laughs> yeah, up man. Up upon. Up upon. Up upon. So, up upon. So we were all pretty positive, but where are you guys <laughs> well, thinking on this guy? For those of you who don't know, the entropy list is back with Banter's official list. Of every movie we have reviewed, regardless of genre, regardless of any of that stuff, all in one fantastic list. If you'd like to view the entropy list for yourself, you can do so down on my letterbox, it's, which is in the d- episode description. Yep. It's linked. Pulling it up myself. Let's yeah. see. All right, so I'm going to say something crazy. Oh, okay. Because we've all been pretty positive on this movie in general. Mm-hmm. How crazy is this going to be, man? But I got it at like a 24. Okay, so that's... You'd put it before... I put it above... above. Oh, yeah, above the first Wonder Woman, but below Trick or Treat. And okay. like not in that then that I think this movie is like bad by any stretch of the imagination, but I just think our top our again our we, we kind of say every week our top of the line top. is just so loaded and like I don't think I, like 
the first thing this run is this run into is I don't think this is better than blind spotting. I'd yeah, rather watch. That's what I was gonna say. I'd rather watch yeah. blind spotting yeah. than this. And and like and again, it's not even a quality thing. It's just blind spotting is more of a film mm-hmm. than this yeah. is. You know. Mm-hmm. And then trick or treat right after it. Like I just have a better time with trick or treat anyways. So. I, I, that's just where I've got it. You and know, I think as the list fills out, this again is not going to be at the bottom of the list in bad. any sort of yeah. ways, but it's just where it is right now. That's where I've got it. Yeah. I don't think that's a bad take by any means. Um, I would say I would probably put this above trick or treat. I think this, okay. I like, I like this, what, what this does more than trick or treat, but that's again, maybe just cause I'm into this kind of stuff more than I am that horror sure. or campy horror kind of stuff. Right. Uh, so I would personally put it at 23 below blind spotting above trick or treat. Uh, Blake, where are you coming down? Um, I'm looking at the list now. I'd I'd probably agree with Nathaniel. Okay. Um, I think we're okay behind Trick or Treat. Um, totally fair. Long story short, yeah, I would rather watch Blind Spotting than this, right? Um, mm-hmm. especially if I wanted to fit kind of that 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 area, or if wanted to watch something that has to do like with the African American community and things of that nature, you know, for I'd sure, probably go to Blind Spotting opposed to going to something like this. So I, I would draw it there. Ty? Yeah, man, I'm cool with whatever you want to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's crazy because when I initially looked at this, I was like, dude, I'm really put this thing like pretty high up there. And then I looked at it, and then after you said your piece, I was like, our like top half of this is like loaded. And if we keep loading the top half, <laughs> right. some of these yeah, good right, ones are going to exactly. get pushed to the and, wayside. And, and by no means is this movie bad, but like, no, no, no. you're right. It's just no. like if you're looking at a movie with similar themes, I would much rather watch Blind Spot yeah. than this. I guess I'm just having trouble putting it before or after Trick or Treat. And I love Trick or Treat. I like Trick or Treat. You guys are much higher on it than I am. Hmm. I think I want this to go before it. Before Trick or Treat? Yeah, I think I want it at 23, 23 and then Trick or Treat can be All 24. Right, what's, what's the tiebreaker here? Uh, I mean, I can be argued into that position. I mean, that's not. Do we want to tie break it, or not? Blake, how are you feeling? Because I'll back um, you up on this if you want to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll ride yeah. I mean, s- substance wise, it's not even a competition, right? Right. So, but in terms of, and I'm I'm, I'm the horror guy though, so it's it's tough. But in terms of what you're getting out of Trick or Treat, like for a Halloween horror movie, that's like almost as good as you see. Can that's what I'm saying. I'm it's like the cream of the too, crop. Man. What's um, the uh, what's the IMDb tiebreaker? Trick or treat six point eight. Oh, my rating is seven point two. All right, man. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's if the IM, IMDb is the tiebreaker. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, look, I could go either way on that. I think yeah. Trick or Treat is still a great movie. I think it's still in a good spot. I just I I like this a lot. Yeah, I do too. And I got I got I got stuff soft spot for Chad Wig. Like yeah, that's, yeah, that's my man. R.I.P. King. Yeah, absolutely R.I.P. I like he was like one of the ones that like I don't cry a lot for like famous people because I don't know them, but mm-hmm. like I got emotional. Yeah. With him, him, him and Kobe, awful. man. Him and yeah. Kobe, dude. Yeah, just, that was nuts. Yeah. All right. Well, it's slotted in there at twenty three, right below blind spotting, right above trick or treat. Here, <laughs> the entropy list is growing. Everybody, we have a total of thirty two movies on here. Hmm. Thirty two. American Pickles at the bottom. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, and at the top is. I don't know, man. I think we should give it a rewatch. I can't believe The Purge is all the way at the bottom, too. <laughs> dude, oh, the Purge is just sucks, not dude. a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> the Shining is Coolest idea one. ever, though. That idea is so cool, but the first film, they, yeah. they, that's a fucking. Maybe we'll get the second bro. one on there eventually or something. All right, let's move on out of here. Nathaniel, do we have any five star reviews? We do not have a five star review. Somebody so give sad, us man. a five star review. Sons of bitches, been, listen it's here. It's been months at this point. <laughs> it has. It was fun. I loved it. I know. You can say whatever you want to us as long as you give us a five star review. You can do it in app, in pod. You can do it in an email. You can do it on YouTube. Just do it. YouTube. Give us a five star review. Let us know about it. And we'll read it out on pod. Yeah, we will. We're not lying. Uh, next week is it Blakey's time? Yeah, Blake. Do you need some more time to deliberate? Ooh, are we doing a midsummer? I was we say that a, was a, if a we were going to leave hood? this up to a guess. Yeah. I, I was going to guess midsummer. Yeah, I I don't think I'm going to do that one. Okay, um, all right. Well, here's what I was thinking, Blake. What's up, bro? Um, 
and I might cut this part out because it's a little extraneous information. Sure. But um, I was thinking if you wanted to do a horror, because you said you were between horror or like a black culture film. Right. I was thinking we could start off February since it's Black History Month with a black culture ah, film. So then I that way, that we way could do we candy can lead towards horror. Best of yeah. both yeah. worlds. That is I, best I of both that. worlds. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> What, what did you he say? He said we could do Candyman. It's best of both. Yeah, worlds. you could do Candyman. You could do like a Get Out. We could do get Out. I mean, we could yeah. do Kill Bill, yeah. just one and two, and combine Get Out or episodes. Us. Yeah. But I, I like agree with Reservoir them, Dogs with was, saying, was just yeah. on there. So yeah. But we can totally use one of the horror, um, more like Us or like uh, Get Out uh-huh. in February for sure, and still for cover sure. both of those. Yeah, for sure. Don't uh, yeah, I, pick one of those. I don't want to. I don't want to push Blake. One of, Blake de- definitely gets to pick. Yeah, it's your birthday. Yeah, Do whatever the I'm, fuck you I'm, want. I'm with that though. But I, <laughs> yeah. I would say for tomorrow, or um, excuse me, for for next episode, let's do. Uh, for the sake of it, let's do Kill Bill, man. All right. You, you want to do, do one Bill? and two? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll chalk them um, together. Those are big movies. I don't know. If I want to do one and two. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, they're probably both two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. do. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's just hard to do one without two. No. Or you guys have seen them. I haven't. So. You would, you'd know better than me, but I, I, like, I just know I like that the first there were... one's so much better than the second one. I was going to say, I don't really care about the second one. Oh, no, no, okay. I almost don't, I almost can't even like recall the story off the top of it. Well, okay. maybe, that's, maybe that's why we should do, do yeah. them both. So that's what I'm saying. The second one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, see fine. where we are in, I halfway mean, through the yeah. week, I guess. Yeah. One yeah, for yeah, sure, we'll two maybe. What's up, listeners? It's your favorite host, Post Pod Adam here, coming at you with a bit of an update on what we're watching uh, for next week. We're going to go ahead and just watch Kill Bill Volume 1 for next week and then Kill Bill Volume 2 for the week after. So we are not going to be combining them to one episode. It's going to be two separate ones. Uh, and then, as you heard in the news streaming, those are both going to be on HBO Max by the end of the week. So go ahead, check them out, and then join us next week for our review. There you go. For sure. Kill Bill. Yeah. That's fine, and then yeah, we can we can run February with with what we discuss. I'm yeah. cool with that. I can't remember oh. the last time I saw one of those movies. Yeah, it's been a while. Kill for Bill. sure, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. been Bill. never for me. But I've like I've got Kill Bill Volume One. I almost have like memorized. Like I, mm-hmm. I, I just it's just one of those ones I've just seen that. Many I pro- times. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably ten years easily since yeah. I've seen one. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's uh, let's get on out of here, guys. Well, let's all right off into the sunset. <sighs> El trabajo. <laughs> Why don't you come do your thing? Please share the podcast. Uh, we can't grow without you, listener. You, 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 yes, listener. you listening to this right now. Maybe if you are on your way to a recording studio and mm. you like you're you're doing the introduction, you just need to say, "Hey, listen to Backrow Banter," available on all streaming services. Just like before the big the big beat drop or the big you know thing. Uh, maybe get us on that You're way. You're about to see Blake's big bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hold on, maybe it, with a with an addict, a, a Blake's big bottom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're doing anything like that, you know, share it or let someone else know about it or just you know tweet about it. I don't know, do something. Share it, dude. Just do whatever you need to to share the podcast. Um, but if you don't want to share the podcast, which you should, uh, you can also follow the podcast. You can. Like on Twitter, at Banter Row, on Instagram, at Back Row Banter Pod. Our YouTube is Back Row Banter, and then if you want to email us for any questions, comments, concerns, or grievances, or anything of the sort, you can do so at Back Row Banter Pod at gmail.com. Yeah. Feel but free to comment on any of the YouTube videos. Though. That as well. we'll I, I need out. to start checking those more often, because I know they they pop up every once in a while. Please YouTube's, YouTube's chugging along, man. I love YouTube. Oh, yeah. Blake's still gotta send me Go those twenty four hour streams. I actually tried to um, to to load them again and they're not there. But Son they, they flip page. like so often as you can <laughs> yeah. imagine through those live streams, yeah. you know? So But uh Blake Holder, man, where can the people find you at? Um Letterboxd, my friend, Letterboxd. So I'll be on there, log some stuff. Hopefully um we'll get the uh, kill bills on there and then come February we'll be able to do something special. We'll see what we got going on. For sure. Uh, but yeah, that'll be Blake Holder. That's that is me, and um, we'll pass it on to we'll go we'll go tired today. Oh hey guys, it's me. Hey man. Oh hey. Uh, I stream every now and then. Uh, Ultra Bajo eighty seven at uh, Twitch TV. Um, I'm not gonna spell it. I spell it all the time. Um, and then uh, Instagram, Letterbox, and Twitter are all Tyler Vidalis V I D A L E S. 
And I'll go now. You can find me at NS Gingrich or at Nathaniel G92 at various Twitters, Instagrams, Letterboxd. It's one of those variations. You'll find it. And follow Sandpiper Tapes. That's my other thing. And He's yeah. Good thing. We'll miss you. Really quick before I get my plugs, I was looking at the YouTube comments and one, one Waz, sorry, I almost said his name. And I remember he doesn't want that. Uh, one, the Waz commented two months ago and said lemon supreme pie is the best also we missed back row bank back row baker pie down <laughs> i true. remember the pie discussion we had too that's funny that's fair <laughs> I, I mean i have some time off maybe this is my week that i'll make that apple pie yeah you ain't made shit for me yet Ooh, that sounds good maybe maybe a time uh well if you want to find me i'm on twitter at h24 you guys now know where that handle comes from uh, and then Letterbox is just H, twitch.tv slash H. I streamed once in the last week. Hey. What'd you stream? You're Cod. Nah. I was playing Cod with some of my uh, frat brothers. We run a six man, we don't lose. It's hilarious. We just run Nuketown over and 69 over. 69 and 0. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to stream more while I'm at school this semester. And see how that works out with my, uh, my whole schedule. But yeah, there's that. Thank you guys for listening. Join us next week for Kill Bill, at least volume one. We'll see about two. I will be RB. Be excellent to each other and we'll be RB. Just share. We want to grow. This is something we uh, have done for a little bit now and we're we're very excited about it. And we're glad you guys are listening. So we definitely appreciate the listen. We would definitely appreciate the share. And um, just uh, just be close with anybody that you love. You know, just, just tell them you love them. Uh, life is too short, and uh, yeah, don't don't go to sleep mad. It's stupid. That is stupid. Brb. Very true. Yeah, um, I, I would say kind of tagging on what Tyler's saying. You know, especially with the the, the times and the climate of the world is now. It's like, yeah, you just make sure you're you guys are just, just doing the right things, right? You're, and you're and not and right not things. storming the capital, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> So um, just stuff like that, you know. Just make sure everyone's kind of morally aware of things. Ba- basic stuff like yeah. not storming stuff the that you would think is basic, but <laughs> yeah. obviously, just, just spread more love um, than you do negativity, go. man. There you go. Yeah, that's all it is. Common sense. But yeah, that'd be it. Uh, BRB. like this weird thing where i just like to literally make people shit look better and also i mean that's a good trait though i love it mean? yeah for sure you can i like love it so much and, like, build shit yourself anytime i see something on like the store shelves it's like nine hundred dollars or like a thousand dollars something like that i look at my girlfriend i'm like i could fucking build that right <laughs> and she's like then can you do it and i was like yeah well like just <laughs> right don't pressure me <laughs> for sure But yeah, that was Justin's Christmas present because his girlfriend hated the way that Justin had everything kind of set up before. So I was like, I'll buy everything that you need like yeah. for the shelf, hide the cables, and then I bought him a little LED strip that goes around the back of the TV. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I went over there earlier in the week and I did that. Yeah, still, that looks good. Yeah. I'm usually pretty proud of my work. And you got the same cable set up in this thing, right, with the that white... With the wire hides? So yeah, 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 pretty much. It's almost identical. Yeah. He's got one less just because he doesn't have uh, an antenna. Yeah, that's dope. But, um, but, yeah, I love that shit. And then his girlfriend and my girlfriend were like, you guys should just, like, do a consulting business. And, like, and I was like, <sighs> I know, but. It sounds like a lot. I just, I like doing it for fun. The business does take a lot of the fun out of it. Yeah, us, that's how I am sure. with graphic design stuff. Like sure. every time somebody asks me to do something, and yeah, I'm just like, I mean, shit, I could. Sometimes that just like a hobby but needs. Sometimes a hobby just needs to stay a hobby. Indeed, indeed. without indeed. a doubt, bro.